What's up guys? I uh, hope you're doing great. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can change uh, the brake pads on the F30. First, let's loosen up the bolts on the wheels. Step number two is to jack up your car. There are these specific jet points that you have to use in order to jack up your car. Step three, take the wheel off. The wheel is off, so your brake pads are secured with these pins right here. So what you have to do is just take a nail, put it against the pin, take a small hammer and push the pin out. Once you push the pin out you will be able to take the brake pads off. So two pins are out, then there is this bracket that holds the pins, brake pads. So now you can just sort of wiggle the brake pad out of the caliper. So then once you wiggle the brake pads out of the caliper, uh, you just push these, there are two um, cylinders, uh, you push them in and then you put the new brake pads uh, in. Uh, now for me these brake pads are new already and I need just to replace the wear sensor. So bear in mind if you are um, ordering brake pads, also order a brake wear sensor. New one is right here. So that's where it attaches to the brake pad. And this is a driver side brake pad. So I'm going to replace that. So this is the compartment that you have to open up in order to find the brake sensor connection. And then here's the bracket that it connects to. So just take a flathead screwdriver and push it out. And then there is another one right here. Also push it out here. Then once you've done that, you just have to take the screwdriver again and push the sensor out from the brake pad, like so. Uh, then you have to do the same, but in the reverse order. Just one thing you have to keep in mind. So you see this thing on the sensor? Uh, there is none on this side, but there is one here. And that's basically your indicator that the brake pads are worn so just make sure you install it correctly so this have to go on the inside of the brake pad now this part has to go on the inside so let's just do the same in the reverse order so push the sensor in like so uh, just make sure that it clicks and sits in there snug so push against this plastic bit because uh, it it's like really tight there and then route the wire here to the bracket here to the connection there and close it up so everything is in now it's clipped here clipped right here it's in there closed up so that's all good now we can push the brake pad in the brake pad is in now i'm just going to reinstall the bracket like right here and push the pins back in so push the pins back in then when you're going to be pushing the pins in make sure that they are really like in their places because you have to uh, like put them like like so through the uh, through the brake pad and then uh, on top of the of this bracket and then through the brake pad again just make sure that it's on its place uh, and firmly secured and then just hammer the pins back in put the wheel back on the lug nuts in and tighten them down and lower the car and torque them so that's it it's as easy as that um, all you need is a jack a socket to build off uh, you need a hammer and you need a nail <laughs> And that's pretty much it. That's all you need to change your brake pads. It's so easy that I really know the people uh, who are tracking their F30s. Uh, they literally do it before uh, going to the track. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, please support Ukraine in its fight against Russian aggression. As you probably know, I'm from Ukraine. Uh, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, if you want more content, uh, uh, 
please leave this video a like and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next one. Bye.